Arirang Special. The first industrial revolution caused profound changes in human lives, as was also the case with the second and third industrial revolutions that followed. And now mankind stands amid the fourth industrial revolution, also known as Industry 4.0. Where key technologies including artificial intelligence, robotics, Internet of Things, and big data. I feel, I think that society and industry is on the verge of a massive, massive disruption, unlike anything we've seen since the first industrial revolution. Everything will be connected in the Internet of Things. The fourth industry revolution is really leveraging the IoT devices to digitize your life, your work, and your world, and yourself. Programs and machines that can think like humans will change the world. The use of artificial intelligence, AI, and having systems that can actually learn the way humans learn. It's certainly begun. A massive wave of changes is expected from the rise of frontier technologies, which have become an integral part of our lives. Let's examine how they will impact the world and human lives and what the future holds for us. Many have yet to realize that we are actually communicating with robots and artificial intelligence systems even today. Robotic technology is not simply used in place of manual laborers in factories. It is becoming increasingly integrated into the everyday devices we use, making our lives more convenient. In late January, a robot exhibition was held in Tokyo, Japan. The star of the event was Pepper, a humanoid robot developed by SoftBank, a telecommunications company based in Japan. Humanoid robots are robots with a human-like body structure and they can interact with humans. Pepper, in particular, can express interest with emotion and understand about 80% of human speech, making simple conversations possible. Despite the fairly high price tag of about 2,000 US dollars, 1,000 units were sold in just a minute after its sale began. At the event, some 50 different types of pepper that can be used widely across the service industry were introduced. These humanoids can be used in the education and tourism sectors as well as in cafes and department stores. It can converse with customers and effectively deliver information according to customer needs. Its application has even been extended into the healthcare industry. Pepper can identify patients and sense their emotional states to provide more tailored information. If our um, robot uh, can connect our cloud and AI, so then uh, um, Pepper can uh, distinguish each uh, patient and uh, provide the information. And also uh, uh, they can connect, uh, for example, image database. So uh, in the future, uh, he can provide uh, uh, each uh, diagnostic image for patient. Last fall, SoftBank commenced the sale of Pepper for Biz, garnering much attention from the business sector. 
It is used by some 500 businesses today. え、毎月ですね、え、1分間で1000台を販売させていただいておりますアンケートも取らせていただいてるんですけども、あの、非常に高い確率で、あの、法人の皆さんの満足されていますし、実際にあの、お客さんの数が増えたですとか、え、商品
When artificial intelligence is incorporated into robots that look and behave like humans, enabling them to think and make judgments and decisions like humans, the potential scope of application and impacts will be enormous. This is why the United States, Japan, Korea, and other manufacturing powerhouses are pursuing AI research and development in full swing. Artificial intelligence can also be applied to computer programs. AlphaGo, an AI computer program developed by Google's DeepMind, has won five Go matches against the human. よくにアメリカの場合は人工知能関係でいわゆるディープラーニングと呼ばれる手法からあのグーグルのネコを検出するプログラムであるとかそれからIBMの渡すのであるとかいろんな技術がですね非常にその社会にどんどんどんどん出
어, 제 이, 공, 작게는 공장 안에서 어, 기계와 어, 사람 어, 또뭐 센서 어, 이런, 이런 그 혹은 또이 이, 오그나이제이션 어, 이런 것들을 다 묶는 그런 어, 어떤 그 데이터 드리븐 어, 인프라스트럭처를 이야기하는 거고요. Admit the fourth industrial revolution. The cutting-edge technologies that are expected to change the world are IoT and big data, in addition to robotics and AI technology. The Consumer Electronics Show 2016, held at the turn of the year, was where one could witness the changing trends resulting from the fourth industrial revolution. Top companies from around the world presented their latest products featuring cutting-edge technologies. The representatives of major companies revealed their visions during the keynote lectures. That the future of the Internet of Things is cognitive. When everybody becomes digital, then what? Who wins? I like to say digital is not a destination, it's a foundation. The Internet of Things is in sync with life, in sync with real life. All along, it was Samsung's IoT strategy to promote openness, interoperability, and cross-industry collaborations. IoT, short for Internet of Things, was under the limelight at CES. At the event, Samsung demonstrated how its products, such as TVs, mobile devices, and smart things, can be connected via IoT, which allows connectivity of devices, systems, and services. LG also unveiled smart household electronics, as well as the SmartThink Hub sensor that informs users of the operating status of household appliances that do not even have smart features. The IoT technology is already being used in everyday life in Korea. The application of IoT in apartments, the most common type of housing in Korea, is making life more convenient for the residents. Information and communications technology is applied to the building entrances, elevators, parking lots and inside the individual apartment units. Touchscreen display, which can be used to check the weather, arrival of packages and messages from family members. Each family member can also check his or her own schedule and messages. IoT, 즉 사물 인터넷 기술을 활용해서 어떤 입주민의 어, 데이터들을 빅 데이터를 분석해서 좀더 지능적이고 자동화돼서 어, 좀더 편리하게 집을 집에서 살수 있도록 그런 환경을 구현할 수 있는 상품을 향후 개발할 예정입니다. The IoT technology can also be applied more widely to turn an entire city into a smart city. In the case of the Songdo New Town in Incheon, it has been built as a smart city with the use of eco-friendly energy sources, including solar, wind, and geothermal power, TV-based community meetings, the installation of smart CCTVs, as well as the implementation of a pilot in-home ubiquitous healthcare program. In the manufacturing sector, the IoT technology can boost process efficiency and create a smart factory. It enables inter-production line, inter-factory, and even international manufacturing. The potential applications of IoT are endless. It can be applied to homes, cities, and industrial settings. This means that virtually everything can be connected to the Internet, leading to a super-connected society. I 저의 의지와 관계없이 저의 모든 것들이 인지가 되고 또 제가 원하는 것들까지 알아서 조달이 되고 또 서비스가 되는 그런 사유가 될 것이고요. 가장 중요한 것은 
정보가 의미가 있어지는 사회라고 저는 생각을 합니다. 그러니까 일상적으로 발생되는 그 정보 데이터 수집이나 어, 신호의 어떤 수집을 통해서 또 그거의 분석을 통해서 맞춤형으로 서비스가 제공이 되고 One of the uses for big data is providing personalized and customized services. These large sets of data collected from individuals, cities, factories and so on can be analyzed to make better decisions and predictions with lower risk of errors. This is one of the reasons big data is considered one of the key technologies for the fourth industrial revolution. 모든 산업 분야에서 다 공통되는 것인데 데이터 드리븐 인텔리전스 플랫폼 어, 이 기술이 핵심 기술이고요. 그 핵심 기술을 주변으로 해서 어, 어, 다양한 그런 어, 서비스를 붙여 나가는 어, 그런 거, 이 서비스를 또 구축할 수 있는 기술 그런 것들이 어, 핵심이 되겠고요. 그 내부 요소 기술로 들어가면 어, 이제 그 IoT 기술 센서 기술, 그러니까 데이, 어떤 데이터를 실시간으로 센싱을 해서 수집을 하고 그걸 또 융합을 할수 있는 기술 이런 것들이 가장 기본이 되겠고. Today in the fourth industrial revolution is data. Data is really driving force. It's similar to the electricity we had in the second industrial revolution. And based on this, imagine how many things you can do. So it's, it's, it's completely changed everything. That's why you know, people really see the opportunities today. You know, try to grab, you know, you know, just pick a topic. You can do so many things there. What sets the fourth industrial revolution apart from the previous revolutions is that the technologies in question are integrated organically to produce a synergistic effect. An example is an autonomous car or self-driving car, which is an electric car incorporated with artificial intelligence, sensor and IoT technologies that can detect the traffic situation and navigate on its own. Electric vehicles per se are computers with wheels and they're going to be driven by computers. So again, they're going to need big data, sensors, software, artificial intelligence, and ICT technologies, ICT technologies that we have developed for the internet. Autonomous cars, which are products of integrating the key technologies of the fourth industrial revolution, are of interest to not only automotive manufacturers, but also global IT companies. 발주행이 현실화되면 어, 패러다임 시프트가 되는 거죠. 우리가 스마트폰이 없던 시절과 스마트폰이 생긴 다음의 시대는 완전히 다른 세상인 것처럼 자율주행이 이제 안정적으로 어, 구현이 되고 상용화가 되면 차에서 사람들은 여러 가지 다른 일을 할 수가 있는 거죠. 그다음에 예를 들면 명절 때뭐 10시간씩 막 막히는 길을 그냥 어, 운전을 안 하고 편하게 그냥 잘, 뭐잘 수도 있고 뭐 극단적으로 얘기하면 그런 것도 가능하고요. 그 다음에 뭐 택시라든가 택배라든가 이런 것들도 다 무인으로 가능하기 때문에 어 여러 가지 면에서 어 효율성이 높아질 수 있고 아마 좀 다른 세상이 될 겁니다. Then how much progress has been made in the development of autonomous cars? The development of autonomous cars largely consists of four phases. Automation, integration of features, partial self-driving, and complete self-driving. Supercomputers are also being introduced for the development the of autonomous of cars. For instance, NVIDIA's supercomputer will be used in Volvo's project to manufacture 100 autonomous cars in 2017. Once supercomputers specialized for deep learning are incorporated into automobiles, it will be possible to accurately locate the vehicle, identify and avoid potential risks in advance, and plan out the safest route in real time. As vehicles become self-driving, 
Uh, it opens up all kinds of possibilities for people to share uh, cars. Uh, it may change the whole idea of personal ownership uh, of vehicles altogether. We might not actually have uh, a vehicle in our garage you know, at some point. I think we could all imagine a future uh, where we have an application on our phone that simply allows us to order a vehicle that we need and it comes and it takes us and it uses or we use it for whatever purpose that we need and we give it back. Automobiles will no longer simply be a mode of transportation. It is fast emerging as an IT platform comprised of diverse frontier technologies. We park our cars 94% of the time. I mean, cars today are so expensive, and yet we park them 94% of the time. Um, when all cars go electric, which are going to use less energy, but also self-driving, and also we use the concept of car sharing, essentially the cost of driving is going to go down by 10 times, which means that we won't need to own a car when the car is self-driving and it goes around, picks you up at home, takes you to work, brings you from work to the supermarket, whenever you're ready. So you don't need to drive, you don't need to park. Um, essentially, we're gonna need 80% fewer cars. So we need fewer resources, fewer cars that are essentially computers on wheels that are self-driving and driving around all the time instead of being parked. There are other emerging fields resulting from ICT convergence besides autonomous cars. For instance, there are a wide range of online to offline or O2O services provided based on big data and IoT. With an infrastructure of cutting edge technologies, various ideas can be turned into reality and enhance convenience for consumers. So, 이러한 초연결을 통해서 우리가 얼마나 더 우리에게 인간에게 유익한 그러한 것들을 만들어내고 문화를 만들어갈 거냐. There are products that may no longer be used in the future, including smartphones. Smartphones that have become must-have items are expected to disappear in five years. This is because humans will be able to give direct instructions to objects by linking to the Internet ourselves rather than via interface technologies. 네, 현재 지금 ICT는 스마트폰을 경계로 해서 거의 포화 상태에 와 있습니다. 아, 그러한 포화 상태를 어떻게 극복시켜서 새로운 시장을 열어줄 거냐가 이 IoT라고 하는 새로운 영역인 것 같고요. ICBM이라고 하는 IoT, 클라우드, 빅데이터, 모바일이라고 하는 요 ICBM이란 키워드를 가지고 이러한 기술들을 어떻게 잘 연결해서 스마트폰 이후에 새로운 시대에 어떤 제품을 만들어낼까를 이제 열심히 고민하고 있습니다. Amid these trends, there is another essential technology we should note. It's communications technology. If the speed of communication could not be boosted sufficiently to handle the massive amounts of data, super-connected society will be impossible. As a front-runner in ICT, Korea set forth the standards for the 4G technology. Now, research is being conducted to prepare for the fifth generation or 5G mobile communications technology. As soon as a smartphone is placed 10 centimeters away from the kiosk, a massive movie file gets transferred almost instantly. This is made possible thanks to Zing, a next-generation communication technology that is 8,000 times faster than near-field communication or NFC. This technology will also allow high-definition videos to be streamed without any interruptions in super high-speed trains traveling at 500 kilometers per hour. 서울 지하철 8호선에 잠실 
그래서 잠실거리에서 이제 송파역까지 거기에 설치가 되어 있습니다. 그래서 지금 시험을 하고 있고요. 내년 1월 말에 세계 최초로 서비스 시연을 할 예정입니다. There is a government-supported research institute in Korea that's in the forefront of 5G development. Playing a pivotal role in the IT advances, this research institute has ranked number one in the U.S. evaluation of patents for three consecutive years, and it is expected to lead the fourth industrial revolution. 단지 어떤 기술이 성능으로서 역할만 하는 것이 아니라 인간의 생활 자체, 삶의 터전 자체를 바꾸어 놓는다는 것이고요. 짧게는 노동에서 노동 시장에 대한 영향뿐만이 아니라 인간과 기계와 관계, 인간과 또 인간의 관계, 또 사회적인 사회 인간과 사회의 관계, 또 사회의 어떤 인프라 하부 구조 이런 모든 것들을 변형을 시킬 것입니다. As was the case with the preceding industrial revolutions, the fourth industrial revolution will create many opportunities and pose challenges at the same time. This is why the international community came together to better understand this phenomenon, which is on the national agenda of many countries and setting a new innovation paradigm. While the fourth industrial revolution will provide benefits for mankind, it will also accommodate challenges that we must address. The fourth industrial revolution has one big challenge. It is the holding out of the middle class, which is a pillar of our democracies. We need to continue to ensure basic protection for workers as these changes take place. I mean, a living wage, payment of overtime, child care, sick leave, the right to unionize, to collectively bargain. Among the issues raised, including technology gap and security, the biggest concern for most people is loss of jobs. At Davos this year, a depressing outlook was given with about 5 million jobs projected to disappear in 15 countries over the next five years. So the, the big fear among a lot of futurists is that we will have permanent uh, displacement of jobs by technology and uh, unemployment. Uh, now then the question is whether the policy reaction to that is to create a, to a special tax on automation, robotics, AI, and take that money to provide a guaranteed income uh, for the people who have lost their jobs, or whether there will be no government policy, and therefore we will just have a lot of people who are going to have to fend for themselves. In a, a positive scenario where you have lots of technology uh, that enables them to create their own jobs, create their own businesses, to uh, be self-reliant, that may be okay, but if the technology isn't there that enables them to do, to the, to do that, then we're going to have uh, some severe social problems. Computer programs, robots, and artificial intelligence make changes in the labor market inevitable. Then how is China, a global factory that achieved economic growth based on its labor power, planning to mitigate this issue? Shenzhen, situated in the southwestern part of the country, is home to numerous manufacturing plants and a new wave of change is sweeping over this industrial city. It is described as the Silicon Valley of China, just like Zhongguanchun in Beijing. While Zhongguanchun is the national software center, Shenzhen is home to startup companies specializing in hardware. Shenzhen actually has a, a, a very big supply chain for uh, hardware uh, industry and uh, they have uh, every step uh, of making uh, uh, hardware uh, devices. If I start up a company in, in Beijing, you know, I, found that I need to find a cost-effective you know, manufacturer for my devices. 
I probably have to supply to, to Shenzhen to find such you know, uh, 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 manufacturer. But if you, your base uh, in, in Shenzhen is a lot easier, it just knocks uh, your neighbor's door, then see, uh, hey, if you can do this for me, uh, and that's it. There are just as many accelerators as entrepreneurs in Shenzhen. Ingdan is considered the foremost accelerator in the city. With more than 700 employees, Ingdan says they can help entrepreneurs bring their ideas to life. The reason that we, we actually, uh, actually collect uh, many new products, including those not from our platform, is that we want to help people to experience the new IoT revolution. And, uh, and also inspire you know, uh, our uh, startup innovators. Look, you know, there is a, a, a very good quality uh, uh, product. You know. See if you can, you know, uh, based on this, you further advance your ideas in this space. There's a man who founded a startup company in Shenzhen. He is developing an IoT-based smart home solution for controlling home electronics and security systems. To address the difficulties in the beginning, he sought assistance from a startup accelerator. This is the most uh, uh, popular product that we have so far, you know, so as you know, it's a CES Innovation Awards winner. So when we first tried to develop this product, you know, we struggled a lot on the supply chain, you know, so basically we don't have enough resources to actually have the access to all these supply chains. So and then we came to Inda and talked to Inda because they have a lot of resources, you know, in the supply chain. So they get to uh, help us, you know, to actually match with some of the really good supply chains and partners, you know, so and then we can actually find really good components from them. The Chinese government is setting forth policies and creating an ideal environment for mass entrepreneurship and innovation. Young minds wishing to start businesses of their own are rushing to found their own startup companies, with Jack Ma of Alibaba and Lei Jun of Xiaomi as their role models. Uh, 一定的支持因为我们这个算是国家的一些算高薪产业嘛就是有专门的这个扶持资金然后另外一方面呢就是政府联合我们相关的一些企业成立的一个行业协会那么在行业协会里面的话我们会经常举办一些类似的这些聚
我们一开始的时候就听说，呃，大疆集团 DJI 这个无人机非常有名，而且在全世界都是很棒的。今天过来特意看这个呃大疆无人机的。Because I knew I was coming here to Shenzhen and I knew the flagship store opened, I had to come and see it because it was quite impressive. DJI helped shatter the stereotype that Chinese companies are imitators by launching innovative products with exceptional designs beyond anyone's imagination. They alone pioneered the field of recreational unmanned aerial vehicles. This is evidence of the massive change that's occurring in China, the world's factory. Yeah, I think this is something that we're definitely seeing is, is a shift uh, from the original sort of Chinese uh, taking the American product, trying to see if they can make it cheaper, uh, to actually trying to invent their own uh, software, their own hardware, uh, and really linking that together to create their own ecosystems. DJI, which started with only 20 employees in 2006, grew tremendously over the past 10 years and now has 4,000 employees on staff. Um, and it's really important for us to actually foster, uh, you know, new innovation, new ideas, and even new business opportunities. And a great example I would use um, of what we're doing at DJI to facilitate this is we are um, fostering a community of developers. And with these developers, they're able to use our technology to create new ideas, new use cases um, for different industries so that it could create new um, business opportunities. So this is a great way how DJI is um, helping open up doors for businesses as well as startups. Drones combined with big data, IoT and other advanced technologies will serve purposes beyond recreation and be applicable in the fields of military, delivery, journalism and monitoring for natural disasters. And this has important implications. So there is um, endless uh, possibilities in how drones could be used. Uh, if we look at uh, where we are maybe a couple years ago, um, people looked at drones to you know, film, to take videos, but um, we see a lot of uh, potential in actually um, applications for various different industries. Um, one industry is um, agriculture. Uh, what we've done is actually we've taken our aerial technology and what we've learned uh, and put in a, um, created a drone uh, which helps farmers to do work more efficiently. So it's a pesticide spraying drone uh, with intelligent features that could actually minimize a lot of the human labor. And in the future, um, there's going to be endless possibilities. Um, for example, if we look at um, 3D mapping, um, one of our drone partners, um, they actually have developed a software which, you know, you could take aerial images uh, and then putting that data into the software and then generating a 3D map. So what that does is that it may help for urban planning, for construction, for surveying, um, tons of different applications. The founder of DJI, who has led the drone revolution, was only 25 when he began his startup company. His success story has fueled the entrepreneurship and innovation boom in China, turning Shenzhen into a holy ground for startup companies. 所以中国政府特别强调叫万众创新大众创业就是鼓励年轻人不要默受成规过去的毕业生一毕业就等着国家分配我们希望我们的年轻人通过了大学或者年轻阶段 can create the utmost value using minimum manpower. China is pursuing qualitative growth rather than quantitative growth and endeavoring to foster a smart and tech-intensive manufacturing industry. Teaching 需要变程序,谁来变,需要像德国讲的叫工匠精神,就是我们需要high level, well-educated workforce劳动力, 
，所以这个政策它有它的两面性。它第一，它会创造新的就业机会，当然对一些没收成规啊，包括有一些需要淘汰的这些工厂。Germany, a manufacturing powerhouse, announced its Industry 4.0 program. The goal is to create a fully automated production system where information can be communicated between the products and production devices based on IoT. To this end, they will establish smart factories integrated with information and communications technologies. The reason many manufacturing powerhouses are turning their attention to the fourth industrial revolution. Is that it will provide an enormous opportunity to create new, high-skill jobs. You know, people will find new business, especially I think the service business is really need a lot of people. And from that that aspect, you know, we are, if we are talking about service, look up at today's internet, you know,、uh, business. Many of the internet business, like this O to O, you know, trend. It's really helping, you know, these service companies, you know, to better match or finding the 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 the, the new business which traditionally hidden, you know, or you are not aware of it. So in that aspect, you know, you will need a lot of people to to do the services. So that's why, you know, the although we actually saw the the the、uh, uh, assembly line, you know. Workers' problem, you know, by introducing this、uh, IoT devices or Internet Plus devices, all these people will find new opportunities. The key words for the fourth industrial revolution are robots and artificial intelligence that will liberate human beings from redundant manual labor to enjoy an improved quality of life. IoT and big data that will lead to a super-connected society and allow provision of customized and personalized goods and services, and convergence technology that will integrate all of these technologies to turn imagination into reality. All of these key words will completely change the ecosystem of our society. The 분명한것은결국인간이모든인간들이네트워크화되는연결이되고또모든정보들이보다많은정보들이의미있어지고또활용되어지는결국은우리인간의삶의모습자체모드가바뀌는사회의모드가바뀌는그런사회라고생각을합니다 We're all going to be connected to this massive network of smart buildings, smart cars, smart energy,、uh, smart everything. Every device is going to be smart. So this may change、uh, education. It may change humanity. Definitely, we can have a much better life because the machines support us very much. Again, the human can focus on the more human-like job, and, and we can have more time. Right? We don't need to have a physical task. We don't need to have a simple conversational task. You know, human can concentrate on the more human-like task. Then you know, the probably we may have more philosophers. We may have more time to educate ourselves to learn something more. However, there are voices of concern regarding the possibility of using advanced technologies in terrorism and crime, such as killer robots. To eliminate these threats of destruction, there is a need to take an interest in humans and society, that is, humanities. 어사회가어떻게변화하는것을바이오기술이거기에적절한필요한기술이나올거아니에요그래서조금말하는것이융합이다이런얘기를하는거죠그러니까융합을하는가내분야의융합뿐아니라인문사회쪽으로사람들이뭐를사회가요구를하느냐인문학이죠사회학이죠그래서점점인문학이중요하게돼가는거죠근데그인문학이꼭뭐과학자만인문학을배우는게아니라인문학자도과학이뭘쫓아올수있나하는것도같이해서인문학적으로중요하다고생각됩니다그런것이진정한융합기술이라고저는생각돼요 There is an emphasis on the need to nurture talented individuals with an understanding of technology and humanities 
for a better application of high-tech systems. That is, how do we uh, educate engineers and scientists with a human mindset? You know, so that's, uh, in a way, the humanity, uh, in discipline of humanities and, and knowledge, how can we instill that in the education of engineers and scientists? And so that's the one thing that we need to be, to be mindful. The other thing is also how do we also bring philosophers, economists, up to the speed with the technological progress we're facing. So that I think, you know, there's indeed some barriers there. So I think we need to uh, break those barriers. Many experts advise that education and research on humans will be essential in ensuring the greatest benefits from the fourth industrial revolution. That's because it is humans who will ultimately decide what will be created using cutting-edge technologies and how they will be used. You know, technology is a way of evolution for the human. Humans are always extending the abilities by developing new technologies. And the new technologies developing the uh, much better economies, right? So, and so th therefore, we never stop to develop a new technologies. So it's the infusion of those technologies with the need, uh, with the fundamental need of humankind that's changing every day. It's the infusion of those two things to extend the frontier of people's innovation and imagination. 많은 미래 과학자들이 얘기했죠. 우리가 만드는 게 그게 4차 산업일 거다 하는 얘기죠. 사회는 변할 겁니다. 변하는 거에 대해서 능동적으로 변하고자 하고 한발 먼저 내가 변하면은 좋은 사회가 되고 그 사람이 사회를 리드해 가지 않겠나 싶습니다. Mankind has continually evolved with technology, and technology has enhanced the quality of life for mankind. Emerging technologies will boost efficiency and convenience for mankind and give us the time and money we need to take another giant evolutionary leap. And as long as humans do not cease to imagine a more convenient world and a better future, we will continue to step forward into the fifth and sixth industrial revolutions.